All right, so let's take a live look from I-70 just west of the tunnel where westbound I-70 is shut down right now because of a crash. And we're hearing about whiteout conditions in Boulder County. They're telling people not to drive there. A lot of snow coming down right now. Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson joins us. And Stacy, the snow and the cold are not finished with us yet. No, not quite. This will extend into tomorrow morning. So we have that winter storm warning in effect through tomorrow. And when we have a winter storm warning in effect, usually for the high country, but even here for the front range, the roads start to get really rough, no matter what time of year it is. And that's what we're seeing happen now. Temperatures are very cold, mostly in the teens now with wind chill factors well below zero. And that's going to be the case in through the rest of tonight. So temperatures over the next few hours will hover around 12 to 13 degrees and we will have the snow continuing to fall. I wanted to show you a few great photos, some snowy photos from our, our Colorado Through Your Photos on Facebook page. You can go on there and join too and post some of your photos. Sandy sent in this gorgeous shot. She said, I just love seeing the snow and I'm so glad it's helping out the firefighters up in the mountains. And this from Grand Lake uh, Fire Department, they were saying, hooray, we're finally getting snow. And those little pockets are places that were burning and the steam coming off of there as the snow is putting out pockets of fire. Becky said, this is my dog's first snowfall. Getting a little frisky with the sticks there and running all around the yard. I just love it. This is what it looks like at City Park right now from our Denver Museum of Nature and Science camera. Cloudy skies, obviously, with the snow falling here for the Front Range. We will continue with this winter storm warning till tomorrow morning, so it will keep snowing. And then we'll have clearing definitely by the time we get to Tuesday. So our 24-hour temperature change is dramatic. 42 degrees cooler in Steamboat Springs in the last 24 hours. It's 37 degrees cooler here in Denver and pretty much the same all across the state. This is a very powerful cold front that went through. Our wind chill factor feels like three below outside in Denver and in Fort Collins, three below in Leadville and one below for Lyman. So these bands of snow keep coming across Colorado and the Front Range. So at times we're seeing pockets where there's a little dry air, like over the metro right now. But just off to the north and west, we have a few pockets of heavier snow. So we're going to see this pattern in through the rest of tonight, where you might see just a little bit of snowflake activity and then heavier snow moving on in. Up in the mountains, we've had significant snowfall for the northern portion of the state, which is great uh, for the firefighters, at least to help them out to put some of this fire out out the fires out winter storm warning in effect through tomorrow morning for most of western Colorado and here in Denver we are under that warning as well and yes we've had poor visibility reported all across the state winter weather advisory in effect for the eastern half of our state for three to six inches of snow we're still expecting about five to ten overall here for the metro and eight to fourteen for the mountains cold and snow tonight five degrees will be our overnight low we are going to have temperatures in the teens throughout tomorrow with snowfall continuing so so we'll have that off and on throughout the day when it finally moves out as we go into Tuesday. Temperatures in the teens for highs tomorrow. And you can also track our changing snowy weather anytime on our Denver 7 24-7 weather stream. And you'll see something like this where our temperatures get warmer on Tuesday, Wednesday, and into the end of the week. Temperatures will warm into the 60s. So some much needed snow affecting us now.